children today in this presentation you will learn about the different laboratory apparatus that is in chemistry when you go to the laboratory you use different types of apparatus what are these apparatus let us learn about it and what other things are present in the chemistry laboratory chemistry it is the branch of science which is based on experiments now what is an experiment an experiment is an activity where we observe a natural or an artificially created phenomena but all these natural or artificially created phenomena are performed under controlled conditions so basically an experiment is performed within a room where all the conditions are under control and mostly it is artificially created phenomena what is a laboratory a chemical laboratory is a place to perform experiments observe chemical processes and to analyze results the following facilities should be provided to perform the experiments like a working table the reagent shelf the exhaust fan and the balance room so in the chemical laboratory where you perform the experiments all these four things must be present so that the experiments can be done properly let us learn about this in details here as you see is a working table this working table is present in a chemical laboratory in this chemical laboratory special kinds of tables are available which are known as the working table each table present in the laboratory is fitted with a gas burner a sink with a tap here you can understand that a sink is present and the tap is present and here gas connections are present with the burners now this table is fitted with a gas burner a sink with a tap a reagent shelf and a waste paper basket there is also a side shelf for keeping glassware apparatus and a fume closet so here as you can see is the reagent shelf this is the table you have a sink and a tap and the different burners are present over here now look at this figure here you will be able to understand properly here is the reagent shelf which is pre present over here along with the different types of apparatus also now what is a reagent shelf all reagents and chemicals reagents means the chemicals which are used in the laboratory for performing experiments so all these reagents and the chemicals must be kept properly on a shelf with proper labels on each and every bottle so that there should not be any confusion while using the reagents so one must be very careful while using these reagents since they are chemicals they are not very good they can be harmful to us specifically if they are acids they can cause burns so when you perform an experiment in the laboratory there are certain conditions which you must follow properly but here let us study about whatever things are present inside the laboratory you saw the table now this is the reagent shelf where you will find the different types of chemicals present now within the room either it has to be airy that is number of windows must be present or there are exhaust fans which are present now these exhaust fans help in taking out the air from the 
laboratory. Since when you are performing an experiment, different types of gases can be produced in the laboratory. So, to remove all these types of gases, these exhaust fans are necessary. Now, the fourth is the balanced room. Now, every laboratory has a separate room along with the laboratory where a number of physical, chemical and electronic balances are kept for weighing the chemicals. Here, as you can see in this picture, that a person is weighing a certain chemical in this weighing machine. Now, it is very important while you are doing an experiment to use a balanced chemical so that you do not use it in excess or any sort of damage is not caused. So, a good chemical laboratory must have all these things along with proper apparatus and equipments. Now, let us study about some apparatus. Apparatuses which are used in the laboratory, the common ones. Now, here as you can see, these are the test tubes. These test tubes are made of glass. These test tubes are used to conduct tests with small quantities of chemicals either for heating purposes or for boiling purposes. So these test tubes are small. They are not very big. So you can use a little amount of chemical either for heating purpose or for boiling purpose. Next here as you can see is the test tube stand. So, when you have reagents or chemicals inside the test tubes, you keep it in upright position. But when the test tube is not in use, then you keep it in inverted position on these small wooden stands as you see. A test tube stand can be made up of wood or plastic. So, this test tube stand is used to hold the test tubes. Now in this figure as you can see is a test tube holder. Now this test tube holder has two parts. One part the handle part is made up of wood or plastic and there is a metallic part over here. Now as you can see the round part on the top of this test tube holder this has a clamp. This clamp helps in holding the mouth of the test tube so that you do not have to hold a test tube while heating. Only with the help of this test tube holder, you can hold the test tube and heat the chemical present in it. Next, here you have some flasks, a beaker and a measuring cylinder. Let us learn about them. What is a beaker? A beaker is made of glass and it is available in different sizes according to the use in the laboratory. Now this beaker is used for preparation and keeping of solutions. So as you can see this is a beaker. Now it has certain markings on it. Now this is a 100 ml beaker. The different markings will allow you to use chemicals specifically to make solutions with the help of chemicals. Maybe you need a 20 ml or a 40 ml solution. So with the help of these markings which are present on the beaker, you can make the different solutions. Now here you have the three different types of flasks. This is a round bottomed flask. This is a flat bottomed flask and this is a conical flask. So all these three types of flasks are made up of glass. Now these flasks they are used during experiments so that sufficient quantity of solution can be held in this. Now these flasks are used for heating purposes or for mixing the chemicals also. Here you have a measuring cylinder. 
this measuring cylinder is a cylindrical glass apparatus now this is graduated in milliliters deciliters or centiliters as you can see the markings over here they are graduated in milliliters deciliters or centiliters a measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume of the liquid that you are using for the chemical laboratory purpose so for doing the experiments these different types of apparatuses are necessary and these are some of the common apparatuses that you use in the laboratory in our next module we will learn about the other different types of apparatuses that we use in the laboratory